Hey, I'm Char, and welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Pisces. Pisces. But before we do, let's give a shout out here to just a few subscribers. Cherry, Tamara Biddle, April Munoz, Janet Woods, Aaron Holt, Emerald Empress, Jules N, Alice Caruso, Billy Kennedy, Billy Jill, Lulu, Freebird Steel Number One, Derek Bentley, Mary T, Janet Knowles, Priyanka, and Blessed Karma, just to name a few. Just to name a few, just a few at the top of my head. Let's pull an Eckhart card. What does Eckhart have to say to Pisces today? Spirit picks. Nothing strengthens the ego more than being right. Being right is identification with a mental position. A perceptive, a perspective, sorry, an opinion, a judgment, a story. For you to be right, of course, you need someone else to be wrong. And so the ego loves to make it wrong in order to be right. Not only a person, but also a situation can be made wrong through complaining and reactivity. Okay. I hope you understood that. That's a little bit jumbled up there. I'll put it in the description box below so you can read it yourself. All right, we're going to do a Pisces re reading. We're going to the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Pisces. Pisces. Been a busy day. Just one more reminder for you to check out the very bottom that Lady Jin D has written a book, The Fear Found. I wish I had more time to read it, but so far, I'm on the edge of my seat. So if you're interested in getting her book, one of many, because it's a series, then the link you'll find below. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Pisces. Pisces, what are you up to today, darling? Well, you're waiting, and while you're waiting, oh boy. Oh boy, could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. While you're waiting, but while you're waiting, there's this five of cups thing happening. Grieving, crying over what was, things that used to be. And it appears, I need another card. Mm. Well, you know what? You know what? Pisces, spirit, you going to talk to me here or what? You, you know, I, I got this huge feeling, Pisces, that somebody here is probably feeling just as bad as you are. And I don't like to say that lightly because I'm a big believer in healing. Heal, move on. But when you see it, you, you got to say it. Somebody might have been very, very passionate. Somebody might have been... You know, this is not really a bad person. They can get caught up and taken away by others. 
has a name to be a bit of a player, somebody who might be a flirt, big flirt. Doesn't have to be so much a player, but a flirt. Passionate person, likes to pass her passion around. Also a very big thinker. But what I got here with the Nine of Swords is down on one knee. I really feel Pisces that somebody is feeling just as bad as you do. But let's continue on because you can't really say until the whole scene is done here. Big time Gemini here. Okay, there's something. Yep. You, okay. Expect some conversation to come in. You got some text messages coming in here. Or if it's not a text message, a short trip, maybe a knock on the door. Hello, Pisces. Um, okay, so what I got here is, yeah, someone's got some divine, either they got a divine kick in the ass or a divine realization, a revelation, whatever you want to call it. Doing a lot of thinking and I do see charging in here. Looked at things differently. How differently? Divinely differently. Somebody looked at things differently. Now, some conversation coming in. And this conversation is coming from someone who refused your cup. Four cups here. Someone who might have got bored. Someone who refused your cup. Now doing a lot of thinking. And feeling like crap, actually. Just like you. Mm, 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 mm. Pisces. You know, sometimes when we get what we want and we know we want it, sometimes we're going to play that game. And it's a shame. Because I do have hair with the Queen of Passion. So now we got a King and a Queen. With a whole bunch of stuff in the middle here. Some sign of, some idea came in here. Some kind of knowing. We'll say a knowing. But now the Queen of Passion's got her guard up. So I see her waiting and feeling like crap. And somebody here thinking and feeling passion. And feeling like crap on the way back. Conversation comes in, immediately walls up. Guard it. Could be plain coy or cold and distant. But you know you're not. How do I know you know I know you're not? It's because you've been manifesting this. Now stay on course, Pisces. Go within, stay on course, ask yourself, what do you want? Do you want him to come back or do you want to play this cold, coy game? Because this is definitely Pisces who is doing this. All right, I want you to use your intuition here. Use your intuition. Because, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the end of that story. Okay. Go with it. Stay on course, Pisces. You know it's coming towards you. you. You know you want them to come back. You've been manifesting it. You get a lot of passion for them. They come back, and you act strange. You act Guard it and aloof. Well, I gotta tell you, be careful. Because, number one, we got some heartbreak right around the corner. Use your intuition because this is what you want. 
This is what you want. This is what you've been crying for the whole time. But there's something that makes this person feel that you're unstable. That you're not quite got both feet on the ground. And I do see walking away here, waiting for another ship to come in. So, you know, sometimes, yeah, definitely. Bye bye, Pisces. Right there. Bye bye, Pisces. Truth. Truth is, this is a soulmate connection that's coming back to be recognized. That's the truth. Truth is, it took them a hell of a lot of strength to come forward. Truth is, well, holy. Truth is, holy crap. Spirit speaks. This is an emotional Pisces. God love you, darling. This is a Pisces who probably got some anger built up or, or there's just this, I, I want you back, but now I'm going to play your game. And I've heard a couple of my subscribers out there who said, when they come back, I'm going to play the same game. This person wants to take the leap. We've got the nightmare here, Pisces. But again, these blessings and this whole new love starting up again, and this blessing of a reunion, Six of Swords, again, bye bye, Pisces. So, if you plan on playing this game of I love you, but I'm going to show you how it feels. You're looking at someone that's going to look at you like you're um, number one, childish, number two, vengeful, spiteful. What happened happened, finding the strength to come back to see you. Finding the strength, strength to come back and to be recognized by you again. And you start playing their game. And what I have is, see you later. So, it is a losing situation here. Losing. What's the next card? Spirit, what do you got? Emperor. Stepping into a new cycle. Can't make it up. I mean, I pulled it three times. Emperor stepping into a new cycle. Pisces. You know what you want. And you're going to play with the options. You're going to play with the options. Oh. Well, you got some nasty stuff in here. Okay. All I'm going to say is, um, Pisces, with this reunion and the options card, you're going to play this options game. I've got options. The same thing they probably did to you. You're going to do it to them. But i got to tell you, what I see is... What I see is you're just going to be holding on to this heaviness, this burden. Because you're going to lose somebody. Tower. Do I see them coming back again? I haven't picked any cards saying so. 
Fast start off. One more. Fast start off says this is a soulmate. One more. Some kind of karmic lesson had to be learned here. And from what I see, it might have been learned because they feel like crap. One more. Lovers. What are you saying, bastard? Well, you know, you're wanting to work on it. And then all up in the head. So what I see here is... That this is some kind of karma. I should have stopped way back when. Way back when. But truthfully, Pisces, what's on the bottom? Stand on the ground. Five swords. Being defiant. Stand on the ground. Being Hard headed. I, I just see Pisces. You got lots of ideas, Pisces. Lots of ideas about this passionate person and about what you want, but what you're doing is something totally different. What you want, but what you're doing is totally different. Let's uh, find out what signs are here. Taurus, Virgo, Aries. Aries with the tower. Aries with the full. Big Aries here. Pisces, Leo. Taurus, Virgo. Gemini, Gemini doubled up, Pisces, Virgo again, Gemini, and that's what I have. Okay, so Pisces, if they come back, try their heart, and instead of playing the same game they played, and you want them back, and you know you want them back, just try their heart. Wait. Take your time. Because I see you waiting now. Just wait. Take your time. Make sure they treat you good. Try their heart. Before we go, let's pull a Psychic Tarot. The Psychic Tarot, Tarot Oracle card. By John Holland. John Holland, the Psychic Tarot. Let's pull a card. Let's see what Spirit has to say. Spirit. Spirit. For Pisces. What about the reading? Let's see if we can resonate with that reading. Cut. What a spirit picked for you. Financial and material changes. Financial and material changes. It is number five. Number five. Where's the tang? Oh, there it is. Let me get me magic wand out. Take a look. See if I can find it. Where are you? Financial and... There we go. It's on page 81. Page 81, Pisces. And I turned right to it. I turned to page 82. What's it say? Let's check it out. This number five physical card represents changes, challenges, and issues. And losses. Yeah, you heard me. Loss. 
usually related to material or financial concerns. You may be losing some of the things around you, but you must acknowledge and know that besides existing as a physical being, you're an incredible and resourceful spiritual entity. Next page. Use your powerful forces within to help you through the difficult period. Everything changes for a reason, and this time isn't meant to be a punishment. Know that your current conditions will transform for the better. A positive question to ask yourself now is, what did I learn from this? And how can I avoid it in the future? Remember that there are lessons to be understood in everything. It's up to you and you alone to decide how long it will take for you to learn them. Yes, indeed. So if you were to lose this love, what would you learn? I guess when somebody comes back with their heart on their sleeve, not to throw the past in their face, not to try to mimic or mirror. I know sometimes it's hard because sometimes we get angry or we hold resentment. And that's what I have here. I have Pisces holding resentment, but still very much in love. I do see great loss here and tower. So Pisces, make sure, make sure you want to play that game. Everything will be written for you down below in the description box. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste, Pisces.